What's good, ladies and gentlemen? My name is JLS15, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K17 featuring the Sin City Saint Johnny Graves. And in the last episode, we saw it was an interesting week, man. Johnny basically beat the hell out of Sheamus, then beat the hell out of Rusev, and then beat the hell out of John Cena, just like he said he was going to do. And now here we are. We're at payback. Sheamus with a chance to get some revenge as he takes on Graves in a tables match. Apparently the WWE reached out to uh, Newfound Glory to do the uh, payback theme song. I can dig it. I can dig it. Kind of a lackluster video there. Whatever. Whatever. Here we are. Payback. Payback. Johnny Graves' well, debut pay-per-view. This is the first pay-per-view. This is the first WWE pay-per-view that Johnny Graves will be performing on. You gotta believe there's some butterflies. We are live from Chicago, Illinois. The city of big shoulders. I was not aware that was one of Chicago's nicknames. And here, man, this is a star-studded card, as you could believe, since it's a pay-per-view. You got Randy Orton challenging The Miz for the Intercontinental title in the opening bout of the night. You know this is going to be a good card. So let's get into it. Randy Orton defeats Miz to become the new Intercontinental Champion. Shout out to Randy Orton, man. AJ Styles defeats Zack Ryder. The Dudley Boys defeat the Primetime Players. Kofi Kingston and Big E beating the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. And now here we go. Here we go. The match everybody's been waiting for. Can Sheamus get revenge? Can Sheamus exact his revenge for the beating that he took at the hands of Graves in a tables match? This is not a standard one-on-one -on -one match. This is a tables match. The only way to win is to put your opponent through the table. And here comes Johnny Graves rocking some new ring attire for this pay-per-view. And he, this is, oh my God. Oh my, the, the disrespect of Johnny Graves. He is at a WWE pay-per-view live from Chicago, Illinois, and he is wearing a CM Punk shirt. He is wearing a CM Punk best in the world shirt. And you know Vince McMahon, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, there's no way they can be happy about this young man rocking a CM Punk shirt on a WWE pay-per-view. Johnny Graves showing off that new ring attire, new ring entrance. Kid's pumped. Kid's ready to go. He looks focused. There is no hesitation. There is no fear in the eyes of Johnny Graves as he prepares to take on one of the baddest dudes on the WWE roster and we've got a in one of the two. most violent the matches the WWE basically puts on. Johnny blocking so Sheamus, drives the right hand into Sheamus' face, tries to grab decision. him, but he can't and reach him. Johnny's got short arms, apparently, and Sheamus with a big right hand sending you know, Graves to the floor. Sheamus follows him out, but Graves manages to avoid the stomp, kicking Sheamus repeatedly and then just sending him to the floor pulling Sheamus up to his feet Sheamus driving him into the barricade the missing the, the spinning right back fist but how can he win this one he doesn't miss those right hands Sheamus those right hands were on target and Sheamus is, is down Graves quickly pulls him back to his feet again drives him into the barricade now drives him into the table Dra damage your opponent, blah, blah, blah. I know how to do tables matches. I know, I know, I know how to do tables matches. But thank you. Thank you for the tutorial. I appreciate it, 2K. You guys are always looking out, making sure people know what to do. But I'm pretty positive I know how to win a tables match. 
Let me just make sure. Yeah, no, I know what to do. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Quaking in their boots when they face an eighth ranked uh, Driving Seamus into the barricade again. I can get back in the commentary mode. I mean, that thing kind of threw me off a little bit. I was making sure. I didn't want to say I knew how to do it, and then turns out they changed like the engine, and I had no fucking idea what I was doing. So I had to read it real quick to make sure I did, in fact, know what I was doing. Driving Sheamus into the ring. Oh, the Celtic Warriors. Get back Sheamus in the commentary mode. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big right hand from Johnny. Grabs him. Throws Sheamus into the table. Again, and Sheamus just crumbles anyone. to the floor. And, always just one and this is exactly what we saw the last time these two met. Johnny Graves just beating the hell out of Sheamus. Again with the reversal. Drive Sheamus to the floor. Sheamus starting to weaken some. He's really Johnny Graves. Johnny Graves has Sheamus' himself. number. Well, Sheamus. He here, Sheamus sends Johnny into the barricade, the fighting back. We'll see if that holds true. Maybe I might have well, spoke too Johnny soon. Maybe, maybe Johnny well, doesn't have Sheamus' number. But here, nice match. suplex to the floor. The and every time Sheamus tries to do something, every time he tries to mount some momentum, Johnny just turns it around. Big right hand from Sheamus. Hooks him in a big suplex. Oh my god. Has made him one of the most respected WWE superstars today, and everyone knows. Could break somebody's neck doing stuff like that. Far away. Well, Michael, Sheamus sliding the table into the ring. What's he got in mind here? Johnny's on the outside. What are you doing? Johnny climbing back into the ring. Sheamus goes to set that table up. Johnny with a big clothesline to the back of. Wait, what the? What the? What just happened? Wait, what just happened? Graves with a clothesline. Sheamus' foot hit the table. The table breaks, and they're going to say that Johnny he put Sheamus through winner. the table. Now look at <laughs> what the heck? Extra slow getting back to his base here. That was the most disappointing, lackluster table match I've ever seen in my entire life. And it looks like what this the, one's going out to the what floor. The hell just oh, happened? Let's see a little outside the ring action. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna Here's have to give you guys a show. That that well, that well, was that was not that was not how I envisioned this table match going. That is not at all how I envisioned this table match going. So we're gonna we're gonna get a real so we're gonna we're gonna put Sheamus in the table for it. Just for you guys. I, I'm doing this for you. This is for you. He doesn't want to win this one. I'll take the win. The it was a bullshit a win. I admit that wholeheartedly, inside. but I will take the win. But just for you guys, we will legitimately put Sheamus through a table. Drop uh, kick, kind of sending Sheamus through the table. For. Again, not the most exciting way, but we have to legitimately put Sheamus through the table. Alright, here Johnny hits the ropes and the curb stomp. And there you go. In his pay-per-view debut, Johnny Graves defeats Sheamus in a tables match. Three stars. Very good. I'm not even sure if you could say that match was very good. That was one of the most disappointing endings I have ever seen to a match. I feel bad. I apologize to you guys. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I really, really don't know what to say. That was such an awkward way to win this match. Didn't get the authority challenge. No surprise there. <laughs> All right, man, moving ahead, let's look at the rest of the card. Roman Reigns, John Cena, Dolph Ziggler in a triple threat match. John Cena takes the win there. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in a last man standing match. And Brock Lesnar defeats the architect, the man, Seth freaking Rollins, to become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Dean Ambrose wins the fatal four-way and is the new WWE United States Champion. What a pay-per-view. What a show.